Gandalf. Philbo Baggins. I'm looking for a brave soul to join with me on an adventure. But I just got back from the other adventure. I killed a dragon. I'm tired. That is of no matter. The adventure must continue. Okay, what now? You will journey one half hour by the subway to the village known as Queens. There, you will find a tribe of Chinese laundry people at a shop called Happy Panda Laundry Land. You will give to the old Asian lady behind the counter this ticket. In return, she will give you four clean robes which you will bring back to me. Make haste. Oh, uh, can you give me some money for this? I'll pay you at another time. Away with you, Bilbo Baggins. What's he got to eat around here? Here are the robes. Ah, wonderful. You're so good at carrying out quests. Are you ready for another? I guess. That wasn't much of a quest, though, really. I've got a doozy for you. I want you to travel to my apartment. Hidden within a vast closet, you will find a broom and a dustpan. You will use these together in your quest to sweep the floor. What shall I do with the dirt? Is it magical dirt? No, no, just put it in the rubbish bin outside for the trash elves to pick up on Monday. This is not an important quest. Do you take me for a conjurer of cheap quests? No, uh, just give me the keys. Uh. Works every time. Last week on As Middle Earth Turn. Tabitha, you're alive! I knew she faked her own death. Oh, there's my little quest monkey. How'd the sweeping go? Fine. Dirty, wasn't it? I haven't swept that floor since my divorce. Yeah, I can tell. Are you ready for another quest? I'm quite tired. This cannot wait. The fate of Middle Earth hangs in the balance. What is it? Do you hear that thump? Thump. Yeah. There is a family of African-American hobbits living across the street. They're playing their music way too loudly. You shall journey across the narrow street and command them to turn the music down. You want me to go across the street and tell them to turn their music down? Yes, but I warn you, speak kindly. My heart tells me that if you speak too harshly, they will become angry. I cannot promise that you'll return from this quest unscathed. That's racist. Take this sword. They probably have guns. I'm not taking a sword. Before you do that quest, can you just do a little mini quest to the fridge and top me off? That's because she's mine. <gasps> so it's Jericho's baby. No. Still in one piece, I see. I asked them nicely and they turned the music down. They're my friends, you know. Still, I wouldn't leave my doors unlocked if I were you. That's enough of that. I'm going to the pub for second breakfast. Oh, you're going to the pub? Could you please get me one of those cranberry muffins I love so much? I'll pay you for that and the dry cleaning when I get my disability check. I will go on no more errands disguised as quests. You promised me adventure. Okay, here's an adventure. Uh, you see that comely wench across the road? Yes? Run up to her and grab her jugs and then run away. Now why would I do that? For a laugh! It's funny. Do you care nothing for adventure? Bilbo Baggins! Hello, Peter Jackson here. That was just a sneak peek at some of the new scenes Philippa Boyens and I have added to The Hobbit in order to stretch it out into three epic films. Enjoy some of our other added scenes like Gandalf loses his car keys and searches for them in real time. Bilbo takes a nap. Gollum joins a yoga class. Bilbo watches the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And an epic game of footy between the elves and the dwarves. That's most of the third film right there. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Peter, but I just don't think Gollum would win, sir. Oh. Well, it's a good thing, then, that I don't pay you to think! If I say Gollum wins, us, you get your ass in front of that green screen! I'm Peter Jackson! I'm gonna make Hobbit films until I drop dead! I have a feeling you're gonna love the Hobbit trilogy. All 79 hours of it.